Hello, Mr. Exuma. Hi, Mr. Mumbo Jumbo. How are you doing? <laughs> I thought I thought we'd go for I thought we'd go from a formal greeting in today's Havoc Craft episode. I like it. It works. <laughs> so we have we have like an announcement to make right at the very start. Oh, we do we're doing, doing it right, right away, now. are we? Oh yeah, because like, we we're not even just saying what this video is about. We're going straight into the good news. No, no, no. We this is this seems more important. Okay, this seems okay. more urgently important <laughs> than the rest of this video. So for those of you who are like, about to click off, <laughs> yeah, like, do, do not click away the video already. <laughs> if you like Minecraft and you want more bosses, you must listen. Basically. So yeah. essentially, <laughs> there is a tweet going around right now. Exumavoid has just informed me of this, and I wasn't aware of it. Uh, there is a tweet going around right now. That basically it was to one of the Mojang people. They said that how many retweets will it get for more bosses to be added into, into Minecraft? And they said one million. Yep. So the person has kind of put out this tweet saying, "Hey, you know, retweet this tweet for more bosses." And they've given a screenshot of that conversation, and everything like that. Yeah. Currently, at time of recording, is at about nine thousand. Yes. Which is that's a strong start. Oh, like, it's that's a, a great really strong start. start. Um, yeah, it's officially endorsed is the point, right? It's a Mojang dev that said 1 million. So if this can get 1 million tweets, that means that person has to add new bosses into Minecraft. And I love that it's a plural as well, okay? Doesn't mean one yeah, new boss, yeah. two new bosses, minimum. Fantastic. Like, think so of that. How fun is the Wither do... fight? And, you know, the Yeah, Elder it's going to be awesome. So what we're going to do is we're, we're, we're going to put the link to the tweet down in the description. or I Well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm assuming you're going to do something pretty similar. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh... I'll, I'll probably put it in the description box. <laughs> or I might hide it on a cryptic website and leave a, leave a cryptic clue on how to get there. But I mean, yeah, that's that, that, would, be, that would be like a slightly experimental yeah, way of that, doing it. That would it. get less probably retweets less or, or possibly <laughs> yeah. none. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, but yeah, so we're, we're going to put that down in the description and we highly suggest that you guys go out and retweet it because yes. yeah, we fancy new bosses. I think that would be a cool thing. I personally want like a redstone boss. I think that would be good. Ooh, I love the sound he, like, of that. He builds traps. I want to oh, see the squiver, man. Have you seen the squiver on the server? No. Okay, so, oh, goodness me, who was it? I think it was Tango left it at ZF space, right? Imagine the wither. Right. Instead of soul sand, you got clay and then he put some squid heads on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> the squiver boss, I love it. <laughs> what, what what sort of attack would that have? <laughs> I don't know, maybe it could shoot ink at you and it makes you blind? That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that, we're, we're coming up with also... I like the redstone boss that, that places traps around you. I think that would be pretty cool. That would anyway, be awesome. we'll, we'll, stop, we'll stop formulating yeah, ideas. We, we're getting too excited no about these new bosses. Uh, we've actually got a yeah. plan for today's episode. Something we mentioned when we last met up and went over to your base. And What did we do over there? Goodness me, my memory's um, terrible. <laughs> I actually can't remember. What, what did we oh, do? We conquered it, didn't we? We conquered... We ran around slime blocks. Do you remember that? Yes, yeah. We, we conquered the Guardian farm. That was it. <laughs> we did Memories. the dancing. <laughs> Fond me oh, this feels normal, Mumbo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. We're, we're used to doing that now. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're pro circle runners or whatever. Yeah. Yes, that's what well, we did we're before. Going to be... And uh, yeah, in that so video, we... We, mentioned, we mentioned like... That you're a bit of a spoon and I'm a bit of a derp, and that we need to count our combined. Uh, <laughs> what's the word? Spoon. Spoon, spoon and derp moments. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We need spoon and derp meters, basically, so that yes. we can we can work out who is either the bigger spoon or the bigger derp out Precisely. of the two of us. I, I think I think that's kind of what we were going for. It was, and uh, I pictured, I pictured, you know, just building like a regular counter. However, you've had this idea to make it a bit of a competition, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And there's going to so be I some sort of wager. Like, yeah, so we're going to have like two meters going up. I feel like we should probably explain this whilst on the move. So you said that we we would fly over Ooh, to your base. We will fly. We will fly. We will fly high in the sky. Uh, you've got to give me a I'll second here, though. I've, I've got, I've got some wings somewhere in here. So we're good to go. I've got, I have my wings. I actually don't have that much durability in my wings. I've got 150, which you got hopefully should be. <laughs> uh, I have got mending. No, I'm breaking. Ooh. It'll be fine. As long as I, 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 I'm sure I won't drop out the sky. And if I do, it will just be hilarious. Okay. <laughs> well, follow me. Can <laughs> you do, can you do plan. a ground takeoff? Yep. Y you can. I'm lagging. That, no. That was very professional. Yeah, that was generally very good. Speaking, generally speaking, yeah, I'm not that good at, at doing the whole takeoff things. I'm trying my best to keep an eye actually on where... See, I've already lost Ooh. you. I genuinely have already lost you. <laughs> All right, I'm back. I'm, I'm near your see, community the, uh, villager area. Over the community I, mining I village area. Are you there thing. as well? 
Yep. I'm kind of following you. You are taking like a crazy route. I got massively distracted by Wells' castle. <laughs> yeah, this this thing's insane. It is actually what? literally insane. I how can't believe how fast this thing's gone up. Wells is just a builder, man. Look at this. Like, just just throws up walls, throws up buildings. No problem. Anyway, you still I... can you still see me? Yeah, yeah, I've kind of followed the same rate, route as you, just going all the way around. You're now kind of skimming. You're doing some like some crazy water skimming yep, type dipping stuff. Dipping down to the water, showing off my skills. <laughs> I might do a barrel roll if you're lucky. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna cool. try. I'm gonna try a 360. That Wait! <laughs> that kind of looked impressive. Did that look good? <gasps> that looks so good on my screen. This is like oh. Top Gun. We're flying in like formation. I feel like the Red Arrows. This is amazing. Yeah, this wow. is... Look at what's going on here. Force has been going crazy. She dug up that entire swamp. There's her pirate ship. And the dock. I'm oh, interested cool. as to what the uh, water is. What's all the uh, the ah, water here? It's for getting rid of the mycelium. We're, we're about to see some on my island over here. So my island isn't right. looking as exotic yet. Eventually it will look a lot nicer. And right. over on this end, can you see how it's all covered in blue? <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, I am seeing that. Yeah, all of that water kills off the mycelium. Right. But it only okay, does it at night time. In the daytime, it will stay mycelium. At night, it changes. Man, that seems like quite a big like time investment. Like, that seems like something that would be... It's a bit of a grind, you know, but it's, it's yeah. fun. <laughs> sort of. No, that's cool, though. I mean, so you're, gonna, you're going to convert all of this island into, into grass? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to convert it into dirt, and then I'm going to like build a palette for what it will look like. Look, different parts of the island will have different sorts of themes about them, right? So right, some okay. areas might be grassy, some others might be sandy. I haven't really decided yet, but that's the general idea. Right. And if you followed me successfully, we're now in the central area of my base. Yep, yeah, I've kind of I've landed on the other side. Oh, but hi. no, that that idea I, I mean what happens if just sorry to bring back to the mycelium, but what if you've got one block of mycelium? Is it's that al just it's already happened, Mumbo. I, I did a live stream over here and <laughs> then after my live stream I went and checked and it had spread out across this massive area that I turned to dirt, so Oh no <laughs> It's it's a risk that something like that could happen, you know. Yeah, I can I can imagine. That's the sort of thing would drive me it, that would drive me completely insane. Like yeah. I, uh, <laughs> oh, if that it, happened to it me. It got me bad, trust <laughs> me. But uh anyway, we're here at my base. Would you like a little bit of a tour? Yes, please. Yeah, because okay. I I haven't had like an official Exuma Void tour of this place at all, and yes. it looks absolutely insane. So Thank you. Yeah. Um, it's early days though, right? So there's not too much to see here really. I'm just laying down the foundations. The floor right, that got, we're yeah. on now, the, the idea for my base is that each floor, each area is like colour themed. It's all going to be grey and each floor has a colour. Right. So this is orange and this is where okay. storage is. So you've got yeah. in front of you big sorting system that I'm still building. Uh, yeah, yeah. This way around, fishing farm, looking fancy. Right, okay. I've got an enchanting That's... room. and I was going to say, this is really nice. You're going to like this. So check out these chests over here. Right, the light yeah. will turn on when one of these is full. <laughs> right, so you have... I've sorted so... them all out by enchantment. I was going to say, so that's not automatic, that's like a manual a manual sorting process. Oh yeah, yeah, I don't think you'd oh, ever be able to do it automatically. N no, I was going to say, I, I suddenly, I thought to myself, like, has Exuma discovered something that he's kept very quiet <laughs> No, don't do discovery. <laughs> this is this is a bit of a grind as well, but like, once you, once you know, you start filling up some of the chests, there's only going to be a few more that you're going to get. So, back here, there's yeah. like a, like, you know, you come look at the, the junk from the fishing and just pick out the books you want to keep. Right, that's smart. I mean, I, I, I have an AFK fish farm, but uh, I don't seem to be... I've, I've only used it kind of once. I, my oh, first book, the first book that I got from it was Mending, though. Oh, I so knew you were going to say Mending. <laughs> it's always it's always saying good. Let's check it out. I've got some Mending books over here. Where is M in there? Every time I look at this, I feel like I know what order the there alphabet go. goes in, but I just... I just... I don't <laughs> know. Like you. My brain doesn't turn on. I look at it, and I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, yeah. And I've fallen no, in a I, hole. I get exactly the same thing. <laughs> oh. so I thought I thought you'd done like a really cool visual trick here, where it was like it looked dark underneath, but you had blocks here, and it's the floor. I was uh, thinking but of no, doing that, Mumbo. I was thinking of putting in some glass there and having a pit with some like Enderman trapped in there or something, right? Yeah, I, I think that would be that would be a good feature. That would be, be really cool. really cool. So anyway, if we if we just pop round the back here quickly, I think you might like the sight of this, just because there's so much redstone back here. Whoa! Oh, is this <laughs> is this the wiring for the lamps? Yeah. 
So wow. you know what's going on here. You look at redstone and understand it, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so so have, in order like, to yeah. in order to like in order to you know compact this, you would use the comparators with like signal strength going into the side of it. But yeah. then you can't make them like all stack together. Tileable. The only way yeah. to have yeah, them yeah, side yeah. by side is to like stretch out the redstone signal and make use of all of it. And so that's why right. there's just a stupid amount of comparators of redstone back here. <laughs> <laughs> I like it though. It seems like a. I mean, you uh, could have. I, I actually. Oh no! Yeah, that is that is the only way that you could really do it. Of course, yeah. it is. Yeah, I was thinking, yeah, don't worry, I was thinking if there was like an item inside there, obviously if it was just one item, then you could just run torches up and things, but no, that wouldn't have, that wouldn't show if it was full, so yeah, yeah. that is the only, this is the only way that you could do it. Yep. So, it's, and uh, I, I it's don't mind it, I don't mind it now that it's built, it felt really frustrating to not be able to compact it, you know, but then yeah. I kind of like the way it makes use of the redstone signal wire strength, you know, like it uses yeah. all of it, which is pretty cool. I and it looks dead cool. It does actually look it really, really cool. cool. <laughs> so, yeah, no, that's, that's nice. <laughs> I'm mean, glad you've been gathering is... resources for our build today because that's where most of my redstone supplies have gone, you know? Right, yeah. No, well, see, I built the sorting system for the Guardian farm, which when we build my spoon counter, uh, I will show you around a little bit. Ooh. There's not too much. My, my base isn't quite as dramatic as this just yet because obviously I was so focusing on clearing out the ocean. And oh, things. yeah, that, that takes uh, a heck of a lot of time to clear those out. Yeah, there's, it is a little bit painful, especially when you lose 50,000 sand. Yep. that's. I saw that. that. I kicked you off the server once because I came over there with yeah. my camera account checking up on you. And there's all this <laughs> sand spitting out on the floor. And I'm like, this is bad. Mumbo's losing all this sand. So I just kicked you off and <laughs> Thank unloaded you. the you area. You stopped me from losing the remaining 20,000. Yeah, you nice. probably would have lost all of it in that case. Oh. <laughs> so, dude, this bit here oh. is another sorting system, right? You might have seen this right. on Doc's videos. It's designed by Il Mango. I got a comment on my video that cracked me up the other day. Uh, it said it said Hermitcraft sponsored by Il Mango. Yeah, we basically are because pretty much yeah. every single build that we do is by Il Mango. I know, right? So what is this one? Okay, I'm sorry so for getting distracted. And it's everything, quite all right. Let me let me break. Let me hang on. Let's place. There's like there's like no quick way around this area, so I just right, place yeah. blocks and then break them again. All right. So you see how there's a shulker box there? Yeah. This is an item filter system to bring. Like to fill up the shulker box, and then when it's filled up, it's going to break it and place another one. So, ah, oh, like an infinite kind. Well, not like an infinite storage, but like a super storage system kind of thing. Well, it's 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 instead of storing things in chests, you're going to store them inside shulker boxes, which end up in the chest. Yeah. So, so you have like, how, like, isn't it like a hundred thousand items per chest or something? If you do it like that, I can't. Yeah, I did the maths amount. one. Look at this. There's yeah. dirt right there. Durite's been filled up. Cobblestone's been filled do, up. Do not let this girl know about that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like... No one tell him. I need these for a very secret project. <laughs> He's not going to like that either. <laughs> He's not at all. So moving around this Ugh. side, I've got the uh, I've got the wall of heads. I'm trying to yep. collect all yep. of them. That's very nice. There's going to be a shulker box sorting system here, but that's not even built yet. Then I got my right. mementos. One of these is from us, I think. Which which one is the one? Uh, raiding with Mumbo there. Oh, that's nice. I like that. That's a cool idea. Yeah, that's right. So whenever there's oh, like a really yeah. cool episode or something interesting happens, I like leave a little memento. The ones oh, at the top smart. though, Creeper, Butt Kicker, and here's Johnny. I don't. They don't yeah. have like episodes numbers on them. Oh no, they're the deaths. <laughs> I remember now. I've died right. three times, right? They're my death yeah. mementos. Right, okay. So each yeah, well, time I, I looking... die, I have to make a memento. And, like, right. I love the idea, like, like, because the history of, like, what's happened is going to be built into my base with all these little mementos. Yeah. Feels that's, really that's weird genius. seeing you laying in my bed there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one that uses that. Oh. <laughs> I'm just in between your sheets. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, round but no, this that's way. that's a cool idea. I like, I like that idea a lot. Like, that's something that if you weren't doing it, I'm totally, oh, no, totally no, no, stealing that. Yourself, man. Season six. You should do it yourself. Like, it's the kind of thing that people like Force do. You know, you go around Force's base and there's like some really cool little things that like aren't needed to be there, but they're like, you know, there's a sign, yeah. remember this episode and like an armor stand. And I thought this time, I'm just going to do it from the beginning. So it's still right. early game. If you want to do stuff like that, you should totally go for it. I'm trying to remember my two deaths. Uh, death number one, I can't actually remember them. You'll, oh. It'll come back to you. It'll come yeah, back to you. When I, it does, I write fell, them down. I, I, fell, then... 
I fell while doing the community mining. That was it. And then death number two was from a guardian. So yeah, I remember the two. Oh, you can make cool. a memento for both then. Yeah, that's easy. I I'll be able to do that. I'm excited to do that. I think Impulse would have some troubles. 27 deaths. I think most of those are actually to Guardians. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Guardians are, are, are horrible to deal with. But anyway, where whereabouts do you... Are you trying to work out as well where you want your dirt counter I, to I go? Know, I, know where, I know where it's going to go. This bit down awesome. here, though, just this is like the last bit we're going to check out. So my base yeah. is going to go downwards and upwards a little bit, and this is like right. the last of the orange area, so eventually I'm going to open up these walls and build little like rooms for the mementos and other things, you know? It's just yeah, yeah. another layer of the base. Um, I love I love the look of this, the stone and the... Andesite. The andesite. I've still not learned which one is which, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> well, technically it's they're been... both stone, because andesite is, you know, like a, a damage value of the stone block. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. It's it like stone is one, and then andesite is like one damage free or something like that. I did Dude, not know that. Look, pick You're up, pick up some with... dirt, right? And then look at it with. Do you have the thing on so you can see the numbers? Uh, I'll see. Hang on. F. Is that is that like the F three H? I think that might be the one. Yeah. The advanced tool tips. That's the one. Oh yeah, zero 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 one dash three. Yep. It's a subset of stone. <laughs> I did not realize that. That's really interesting. That's like Minecraft trivia. Yeah. If you're doing like a, a Minecraft quiz, you could then, you could have that as your question. There's a lot of Minecraft trivia. <laughs> yeah. No. That that would be a that would be an important. If if we were doing like Mastermind in the UK, that game show, we could do it on, on Minecraft trivia. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. You could probably make that game, the Mastermind game, inside of Minecraft. That would be that would be interesting, actually. And I could have like the presenter and the. Uh, the really sinister music and the really dark chair and dark lighting and everything like that. I think we're. Are awesome. we thinking of the same thing? <laughs> well, I was thinking of the board game, but now I realise you're right. talking about. Yeah, <laughs> I was you know, thinking the mastermind that. Yeah, no, board mastermind, game, right? Yeah, you've got all those little pegs, and you've got to fill them up, fill up the holes with the right. pegs. This was this yeah, was a see. poorly placed ladder. <laughs> so, so is this is this where you want the the I'm, derp counter to be I'm going? Building, I'm building a uh, like a temporary ladder and it itself is kind of awful. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you want to come up here, it'll all make much more okay. sense. So right. above this area, I want to introduce another colour and that colour is going to be green. So I want to have right. like this ring, a circle that goes around that's made out of grass and it's going to be like a walkway. And right. you, know, you can go around in the circle, drop down into other parts of the base and then over on this side, in the middle of the back of where this path is going to be, I figured that would yeah. be a great place to have the derp counter, you know? So it's right, like okay. really big and high up and you can see it everywhere. Okay. But. That sounds good to me. There's a but. <laughs> right. Um, I haven't actually built this walkway yet, have I? So I kind of. No, I have noticed that. Yeah, I kind of need a moment here walkway. to prepare and, you know, measure and place a few blocks, if that's all right that's... with you. That's totally fine. <laughs> Do you mind if I borrow some leather and then I can just chuck it together in the anvil? Oh yeah, yeah, go for it. Because then I can then I can just repair it up manually. I want to see what happens when you use this anvil. I've got this feeling. Oh, do you reckon it's gonna break? I've got this feeling. Gonna use it. Go on, use it. All right. Okay. Hang on. Two seconds. <laughs> right, my levers. Okay. Oh. Here we go. I knew it. Yeah. I knew it was gonna <laughs> break. Do you know how I knew how that? How did you know that? Because that I've used weird. that anvil like a hundred times when it's on its lowest <laughs> setting, right? And I'm thinking, this anvil is magic. And then you wanted to use it. And I'm like, that is so the moment when it's going to break. I can't believe that. <laughs> That's weird. That almost deserves like a memento on your on your board. Like fortune what? telling Doom Avoid with an anvil. <laughs> it does. It's going to be a memento. It will be on there at the end of this video. <laughs> okay. That's brilliant. That's so funny. I can't believe that. Well, I've, I now have Elytra, so that's that's a positive. Yeah, you to can fly. Fair, I don't again. know. Like, I, I always forget that anvils can break. So I always be, I always make those, you know, like the anvil storage systems where you can hit the button and it drops the anvils through. And half the time I like build those into the ceiling and it drops through an anvil and takes two thirds damage. So then all my anvils oh. just get used up really fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do, <laughs> didn't they? That's a point. It's a bit silly. I was going to put yeah, that in my daft. little room over on the side for enchanting. Yeah, it's all right as long as as long as you don't drop them like a handful of blocks, which I always tend to do because I think it looks really cool. <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't doesn't do well for the anvils themselves. All right, Mr. Mumbo, you wanted to uh, you wanted to see this passive mob farm down here. 
Yeah, yeah, because you you showed you gave me like a wonderful tour of all your base, and, and then I kind bit. of walked up. Yeah, I walked up to that platform up there, and I looked down, and I was like, "What on earth is that strange, strange looking yeah. setup down there?" You know, you know how it sort of looks unfinished. It's because I'm I'm still gonna I'm gonna change the design and rebuild it, but the concept is uh, is really good. So, right, how how can I explain it? If there's no grass in the world when you're online, right? There's no grass in the spawn chunks. There's no grass right. in your base. Then you might get a load of right. cows spawning on the island next year. <laughs> yeah, that happened to me recently. I think I talked about it, and I thought my my theory was is that somebody's done like a really strange prank and they've just dropped a bunch of cows at my place. Yeah, that was my that was my extremely well thought out theory there. <laughs> well, they they spawn there naturally, and your your base will be right. prime location to build because it's in an ocean. There's no grass anywhere. So if you yeah. built a little farm down at the bottom of the world, it would it would spawn you know whatever. Uh, in this case, they only spawn mushrooms. So if you feel like it, we can drop down there. I would highly advise you don't fall into the water. And if you do, swim away from the middle. <laughs> oh, okay. It's like very bad down here. Okay, that's right. good. That's good. So let's hop down a level. And Okay, I'm, you, you do realize you've really scared me now. Like I'm terrified to walk around. There's a cow down there and my fella ain't <laughs> killing him. And I know why. It's because of the uh, carpet they're standing on. <laughs> Right. Okay. Have you spotted him yet? <laughs> no. Oh. Oh. There he is. He's like his head's like stuck. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go down. Oh, oh he's no, he's going on the it. outside. Going oh, get red cow. <laughs> oh wow. He's 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 mean. He's pretty hardcore. Yeah, he's mean. That's what he's trying to get up here. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah. No, that's scary. I. How did you get him down here? Oh, that was uh, that was that was a lot of fun. That was. So I had to bring this guy from XB's base through the Never. And then I just right. I brought him through the portal and just sort of lured him into a trap, basically, and used water to push him down here. And he fell into the water, and this is his new home ever since. Wow, I'm I'm amazed that went so well because that would go terribly if I was doing it. Yeah, it'd be it easy go... to make a mistake. <laughs> yeah, to, uh, yeah, it would go all kinds of wrong. He also killed me, <laughs> so it did go right. Wrong. Okay, <laughs> that's that's also not great. That's yeah, yeah, it, great. it did actually go very wrong. Now that I think about it. <laughs> Yeah, that was one That's of my deaths, wasn't it? Yeah, said earlier, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got killed by a vindicator. Right, so, how do we get back up? Is this we got to walk, extremely... walk through this long, dark, and ominous tunnel now? I was going to say this is the official official uh, exit to this place. I have to say, a cub fan came to my base the other day, and I had my storage area, but I hadn't built any form of entrance, and I, I just kept apologising for how terrible everything is. I was, yeah. like, I was like, I'm really sorry. Like, th this is all going to get worked on. I saw right it now. Man, I, I have to come through the, the ceiling episode. and. Yeah. yeah, it's it's crazy. Just, like you're just like walking through redstone through these like weird yeah. corridors and. <laughs> yeah, I just, I I just had to kind of get down there, and you just go through all the redstone. I'm amazed they actually managed to find their way down there. It's yeah, quite impressive yeah, it's pretty impressive, to really. They got there. there. I don't know how they figured <laughs> that out. So up the no. top here is where we're going to put the derp counter, and you'll see that I yep. put down some grass. So the top level of my base is going to be like greenery themed, and right. Fun fact for you, passive mobs don't spawn on grass in a mushroom biome, so I can get away with having this up here and it not affecting my farm, which is kind of cool. Okay, I was going to ask that. I'm sure the audience was going to ask that as well, so that's professional Minecraft YouTuber there for heads, covering yeah, it up. I anticipated your <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> All right, here's where this thing should go, I reckon. Uh, it's in right. the center, it's lined up. This cobblestone can give you a hint of where to go. My thinking okay. here is I'm going to build a big green circle going around this thing, and then in the center on one side is where, yeah, that thing can be. I'm going to double, triple check that that's in the center about a hundred times. <laughs> that's probably a good idea. Uh, I before, think. So... Hang on, before you get too carried away, is this where the bottom redstone lamp is going to go? If yeah, I was about to ask, is that where you would want it to go? If, I I if... reckon we should put it back one or two blocks, just because we've okay. got to think. We want it like if we just left the redstone as it was, it's going to look a bit like derpy. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, no, potentially. Yeah. So yeah, now right. we have the now we can have a little bit of depth here, is what I'm thinking. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you, you'd have to turn on ten lamps. You'd have to have ten lamps worth of derpiness oh, for you to reach tall. the okay the very the very top. I know it seems really tall, doesn't it? Well, I thought Am it was going to be 16 that? blocks tall, or 15, so it can make... What is the full, like, redstone thing? It's 15, isn't it? 16. 
It Six, is six. Uh, oh, I never remember the right one. No, you you've sowed the seed of doubt into my mind now. I don't, <laughs> I don't know which one it is. <laughs> I think it's fifteen, man. I don't know. Oh, uh, I thought uh, you no, would I'm know for sure. Man. Yeah, well, oh, I well, thought I would have known for sure as well. Amazingly, I seem to have forgotten. This is something I've done like full videos on <laughs> what it you know <laughs> what signal strength is, how to judge signal strength and everything like that, how to work with signal strength. It's ridiculous. Uh, oh dear. I know. So you're uh, you're doing some live redstone right now is the deal. Yeah, right? this, Yeah, that's that's kind of how it's going to go. And I think I mean as far as the actual because originally we were going to do like a big display type thing. Or at least that's the that's the idea that you had in your mind. Yeah, when we, when we talked huge. about this today, I, I the whole, entire time I literally just pictured this giant, you know, like eight bit. What do they call it? Eight bit display. Uh, the yeah, seven segment display. Yeah, seven segment display. The, that's the one. Yeah. The so issue is is that all, all of those designs use well, at least all the ones that I tend to build, they tend to use uh, cauldrons, and they obviously a that uses loads and loads of iron. I got but an iron more farm. <laughs> so have you. you. Yeah, well, yeah, I've got an iron farm. We both have iron farms. How good is your iron farm out? <laughs> I've got more than enough. I've got more than I'm ever going to use it. Really? Uh, well, oh, I d you know what? I don't know because I'm not one to go building in iron blocks. But I mean, I've right. got like a double chest full of iron ingots from it, you know, pretty quickly. That's, um, that's pretty good. I'm going to be I mean, in this area I, I, for a while. It's... Yeah, I mean uh, that's true. My iron farm's over in the uh, in the community whatever area. So yeah, I don't know. I for some reason I think maybe my design is a little bit on the slower side. I, I for a while I got so many comments down in the comment section from people letting me know that basically I had a ladder in the in the killing area, ah. and I think there's a chance that iron golems were getting stuck on the ladder as opposed because I put it was three it was three signs and then a ladder to hold up the lava blade and yeah. I think maybe the iron golems were getting stuck on it. Well personally I affected. thought your farm was doing really well like I'd go over there and there'd just be tons of the stuff and I was like that's, that's Well maybe bad. that's maybe that's why I don't have much iron because people you'd be keep taking it. <laughs> I've taken some if you need iron you can always come over here and grab it. No, so I, I'm fairly certain I'm... Do, do we not have, like, an Iron Titan on the server now? We... I think maybe one might be being erected. I think we have, like, I think we have, like, like two massive ones. Cub fan has got a crazy big one that isn't an Iron Titan. And Tango's right. made his new... I don't know what it's called, but it's probably got, like, a T-pun, you know? Right, yeah, like, yeah. Like the Iron okay. Terrific or something. Okay. Our, oh, <laughs> yeah, of course, because they've all been T's. I'm oh, guessing. Yeah, have. yeah, what were the other ones called? Oh no, Iron Foundry. That was the first foundry. one. Foundry. Oh, was it? Yeah. No, it was the, the yeah, the Iron Foundry was the one that I built on Hermitcraft Season 2. The, the trivia fact is that before Tango was officially a hermit, yeah. I was having problems with the foundry. And I, I, I asked you very politely to whitelist Tango very briefly so that you could help me. Oh, I remember <laughs> that. Yeah. That was ages ago. Ages, good before doors could stack, I might add. So yep. that was. Yep. That was a painful one to build. Painful indeed, yeah. Oh, Exuma, I, I hate to I hate to break it to you, but there is a chance that you're not going to be able to have those stairs like that. <laughs> oh. Because the blocks have to power the, the redstone lamps. Unless... Oh, is there a way that I could work? I have built it, by the way, I think. If this actually works, I'd be impressed. I think, yeah, it... I think they won't. I think they won't power it. That's fine. We can always just push it forward a little bit. Yeah, yeah, no, unfortunately, yeah, because they're transparent blocks, we'll, uh, it won't be powering. That's a shame, because that looks really, really cool. Yeah, nice little pattern, isn't it? This is one thing I learned about building, so I, don't con I never consider myself a builder, but I love no, building, I and I'm always trying to build, and I'm, I'm probably right, just yeah. always beating myself up about my builds in my videos, right, you know? I, I, I'm exactly the same. I constantly say in my videos, I'm like, oh, you know, I'm not a builder, so blah, 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 blah. And people are like, no, your builds actually look like quite good most of the time. You have a very, <laughs> you have a very clean and easy on the eyes build style, you know? And I think a lot of people like that. And so it, you, it might you, be like a, a lazy building style. <laughs> you, can, you can call it lazy if you want. I wouldn't say that. But you, you, you like me, it's would have picked up some modern. tricks over time. And until yeah. you like, until you like, realize what they are and how to 
palette them, um, then you, like, anyway, <laughs> whatever I was saying, here's this trick, like, whenever you've got a flat wall, throw in, Right. did you just place down, a, no, you just lit up the lamp. <laughs> Yeah, no, I've I've placed in blocks behind it so that it actually lights up all of the lamps. Yeah. So you do currently. I, I put an item into the chest just to make sure that it will actually light it. I think. We, I think I've got might. too many thoughts in my head right now. I was just about to say, like, I've met, set myself a challenge to never place down a torch, like a visible torch. There might be one or two in this area, but the idea is that you'll never see a torch in my base. So that's cool. I've got these end rods instead, which I'm not sure if I'm actually going to use up here. And then right. going back to the wall, like the the trick is just. If you've got a flat wall, throw in something in between to break it up, you know, like stairs or a little opening, etc. Right. So here we've yeah, got see, a bit I... of a groove instead of just a flat colour. That's cool. That's yeah, that's a that's a cool idea. And then you get you get the texture because you know, I'm looking at this place here, you have the number of different textures and things like that and just different things you have going on. It looks really crazy. Like in a good way, not not just like Exuma. It looks mad. Like you, you you've gone crazy. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. looks it looks crazy in like a in a in a really cool way. Yeah, it's got a yeah. bit of structure I mean, to it. Yeah, like I I've always liked the ruined look with all the different kind of cobblestone yeah, and stone and everything like as that. Well, isn't it? That wasn't initially yeah. my intention, but it's certainly it, you certainly get that vibe if you want to make pathways of like you know three or four different blocks all scattered about. You're gonna get yeah. something like that, aren't you? Yeah, I don't know what it is. It just becomes almost like Stonehenge or something. I don't know. <laughs> like it just becomes like I'm trying to think what what it would be described as. Like almost temple like. Yeah, like temple. Old ruined temple. Yeah. Either way, it looks really cool. Like the, all of these things are really good things. I think it looks awesome. I'm glad you like hopefully, it, man. Like this this thing, I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's done. All we have to do now is I'm gonna have to grab a whole bunch of non-stackable objects that we can put in here. So I'm going to make a bunch of stone shovels. I guess that would probably, probably be a good idea. Yep, there's iron in the chest down there. Help yourself. They'll be all right, as okay, well. so I'll, I'll, I'll dump all of my items in here. I don't actually know how many shovels it will take to go right the way up to the top. I imagine probably about three quarters of a double chest. So yeah, Do you have any sticks, there. actually? Come Sorry? Think about it. Do you have any sticks? Yeah, yeah. well, there'll be. there's woods. Look for the stick on the chest that's the wood oh, chest yeah. and then below it there's the oh, wow. iron one okay, stuff has so sort got... of been labeled a little bit is the idea yeah just a little bit um, where is so this is chest this... that i put items into by the way is it is it at the back or but no it was in this activated uh, no, with a button so, so yeah you will activate it with a button i'll quickly i'll i'll do actually i do need to still do that there's one little bit of redstone that i still need to do okay so it's always funny going into someone else's storage system and trying to work out where they've placed things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, mine's got a little bit intuitive. If you look at the item frame directly, it's got a name, and sometimes it's a pun or a joke, or sometimes it will tell you right. what's in there. A fine day to die. I see what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like oh. it. Okay, so redstone. Okay, so stone will be... Where would all your stone and things like that be? Because I need They're to make the a couple They're in the bulk storage around the other side. There's stone up here, though. Unless you need like a crazy amount, there's. Uh, oh yeah, of course, stone up of here. course. I brought a bunch with me. Wow, you do have a lot of iron. Yep, and there's loads more and over you have at iron the bottom. Yeah, do you want one? I mean, I wouldn't mind one. That's pretty cool. I didn't. I didn't realise that we it's had yours. we had heads for that sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, there's loads. There's loads. You need you need to go to my website. There's a list on there with all the ones that you can get. And I'm going to add I mean, some I more see, real soon as well. I did see the other day that when I was AFK fishing, I got a petrified pufferfish head. I saw that, that I in your liked. video, right? I was watching your video, <laughs> and I saw your mouse hover over it, and you kept talking about all the different stuff in there. I was like, please notice the fish head. Please notice the fish head. And then you I were like, oh, can... there's the fish head. And then you just moved straight on. And I was like, oh. <laughs> but it's <laughs> more, the, more of a big deal than that. There's just this new item there for you. To enjoy. I didn't know. <laughs> That's so funny that you say that because I didn't know how common they were or anything like that, or if there was something that I should be like, "Whoa, that's insane!" But um, no, that's cool. Okay, so we have it is working, by the way. That's good. My little idea in my head seems to have actually come together pretty quickly, and is functioning. So oh, my awesome. question is, it... how how do I activate it? Yeah, I, I'll I'll do that in a sec. I'll just quickly do the final. Because I need to, I need to put enough shovels into your system to make sure that you can actually get right the way up to the top. Otherwise, that will be a bit silly. 
That won't be particularly good. I'll tell you so something now, cool. Mumbo. I've got a feeling I'm going to rebuild this thing. <laughs> right. I'm also not too keen on this shape so far. It needs more. Uh, it needs more wall attached to it. So I kind of pictured like you have the color, and this is just yeah. the first green block that I could think of and grab. And then you have right. like a pattern, and then each time it repeats off to the side, it it comes like it goes down a little bit further, and it goes it across goes down a little, a little bit further. Bit. Yeah, something like that. I, I mean, I think it's a cool idea. It's I've never right. worked in. Oh, to be fair, you know, I'm looking at this in my like clean wool texture pack, ah. and <laughs> so you have you have like these really nice clean like wool blocks that look like something out of like the digital age or something, and then you have the stone bricks next to it. So I'm sure if I was in like the standard texture pack, it would probably yeah, look a lot it, cooler. It looks, it looks a little weird. I think uh, I think the green spreading over a lot doesn't really quite work. But there's 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 some good ideas here. Thing with me in building is I don't I don't generally jump straight to the thing that looks really good. I spend a lot of time, you know, yeah. figuring you're a, it out. You're a little bit like me in that you kind of you work with it, you build, you take it down, you build, you take yep. it down, you decide that you don't particularly like what you've just done, you start again, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Yep, do I'm going like that basically. Yeah. I'm thinking this might look uh, better if it's like recessed and uh, there's some blocks in front of it as well. Ooh, oh, I like that. I like what have you done? What have you just done there? Just I like the back. fact that, you, yeah, you kind of have like some. That looks cool. I like that. Okay, That's so cooler. this might make it look even cooler. I'm not sure, but if I grab some slabs and uh, pull them across, oh, that didn't work. This should be interesting. Uh, kind of works. That I, looks cool in like a. I'm not going to try and finish this today, man. I appreciate the no. redstone you've done here. I may, I may end up like tearing it down and rebuilding it back, like a, a block further back or something. But I'll figure out like what this is going to look like and and do it. Yeah, yeah. Later of course, on. no, of course. I, I understand. Much like me, uh, the building process is something that I, I personally, I don't know, I don't even know how you've managed to do all of that like live on camera. <laughs> because for me, it would just be me just scratching my head, just placing one block and then going. Well, this uh, is it. The pressure was on, you see. The pressure yeah. was on, so I just oh, grabbed some green wool and then got going with it. <laughs> so at least I got yeah, something I can... to look at and think about. It's a good start, yeah, I think. Well, I kind of threw you into the deep end in the fact that uh, I've started doing all of the redstone and things, and I've kind of left you with nothing to do. <laughs> I don't so... mind. I don't mind. It's fun. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Um, I've got... Oh, I fell down. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> the first time. that That's my first derp right there, falling off of that thing. <laughs> Oh, we can add one. I'll oh, see if yeah. it works. Someone's been keeping track of all the derps and spoons that we've done already. Oh, and this reminds right. me, by the way. So, like, we mentioned earlier that there'd be a wager or something yes. like that. I don't have any idea what that wager would be, but perhaps no. the people watching can give us ideas or comments. They can let us know. That would be, yeah, that would be cool. That I, I, I bet they'd come out with some, like, evil stuff, though. Yeah, it's working. I've just given you one on the derp counter. Yeah. So you, you now officially have one. So you have, and that should be one item in this chest out the back here. Yep. And then, so every time you hit the button, it will send a shovel from the shovel. It basically, it'll send a spoon through. It's like a spoon infiltration in the, in the back here. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The lunch. shovel is the spoon, isn't it? <laughs> um, so mine is actually going to be a physical spoon counter, funnily enough. But That's great. You're, <laughs> Yours is, yeah, yours, we can rename them to Derp if you wanted to. I think but, I'll yeah, do every that. Every time you hit the button, you uh, will send a shovel through into the chest out the back. The comparator will take an output from it, and then when you set, hit it a certain number of times, obviously the signal strength will increase, and you'll light up another lamp right the way up to the top. Sweet. I think that's that works, and it's a lot simpler than the than the seven-segment. It's not quite as cool as the seven-segment display. I do feel like that would have been insane, but I've built one of those. I built two of those next one another in Hermitcraft yeah. season four. It's and a bit, it bit took, of a late game thing, isn't it? Yeah, it took it took probably about three and a half hours as well, just because you basically have to you have to place all of the cauldrons inside the piston feed tape in a specific way. And it's not as simple as laying them out. I don't know if you've ever built one before. I, I get a um, good idea of how they work. Like yeah. the cauldrons power the that the cauldrons are like a configuration for powering the lamps, I and mean, then when you push yeah. them all around together, it gives them a new configuration. Yeah, yeah, I can see how that would be and difficult. Basically, what you have to do is you just have to go in manually, 
you place one cauldron, then you run out to the front and see which one is lit up. Like gradually you learn where where each cauldron is going to light up, like what part of the display is going to be lit up. Yeah. But yeah, you place in a cauldron, you see, does that look like uh, the bottom half of like a two? And then you go, you place in the next cauldron, you're like, oh, I've got the middle section of the two, and so on and so forth. And that part is painful, and it will be painful to watch as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it'll be a total grind, basically. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's a lot of breaking and replacing. And because you're working with cauldrons as well, you're filling them up with water. And the most frustrating thing in the world is I always shift click water onto the cauldron, just pour redstone all over there. Yeah, over I've the done redstone. that, I've done that as well. Oh, I'm out of slabs. So, all good fun, all good fun. So this seemed like a much simpler option, and it, it seems to be working. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, you can press it a few more times if you want to check and see how, how it goes, and then I'll, I'll reset it back later. All right, that sounds good. Yeah, I'll see, I'll see if we can get up to... As long as we can get up to the next level. One, two... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's working. So you, so it's kind of, it's kind of going to lit up. It's going to light up the next redstone lamp every two or three presses, basically. Yeah, that's that's so, pretty awesome. <laughs> I like this a lot. And so then, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have that wager for the first person to the top. Ah, oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun little project. Um, what do you think of the right hand side here? I think that's looking reasonable. That's looking much. That's looking really cool. I'm going to work I on like that, that design, and I think I can make it a little better. And yeah, I, y this will get rebuilt. I'm telling you now, man. I'm going to rebuild it and make sure <laughs> I look it looks fancy. It. I look forward to seeing what it looks like. Right, well, I guess, so now that we have your one, I guess the main thing that I have to do is I have to then build one actually on my little island. Yes. Which should be interesting for you because <laughs> I don't, I'm looking I don't forward know what to it, man. You've got prismarine blocks. I want to I wanna build us some prismarine. I'm going to use some grey, so I've got my stone oh, for that. Oh, please do. My, yeah, my, do that. That'll my be brain's cool. already ticking over with ideas as we head or get ready to head over there. Um, so I'm, if I just pick up these shulker boxes... Oh, uh, are you emptying that chest out? Yeah, that's that's all. I don't think I'm going to need anything else. I've, Do you have any shulker I've run boxes? Out of space. Nope, I still don't have any shulker boxes. You, you should I have haven't one. done any end raiding. Yeah, I, I only one. got fireworks in the previous episode. Okay, but you should have one. I gave you one. Do you oh, remember? I do have one, yeah. It's do in my base right now. Um, If you're willing to hand one one over, that would be that would be super handy, because I really want one for my redstone. Yeah, uh, you, you need you need shulker boxes in this game, man. Uh, that's got sink in it. Do you want some leather pants? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm all right. Thanks. Oh, I've just thrown it's them pretty on warm myself. today in England. That would be that would be quite sweaty. <laughs> okay, here you go. Oh wow! And then Not whenever one, you do your projects and stuff, just just keep your redstone in one. Yeah, you know how to use these. But I don't need to explain nothing, do I? I'm going to take those. Oh wait, you wanted to just put them in there, didn't you? Yeah, I'll try. You are literally carrying around buckets of redstone. <laughs> yeah, I I always this is this is basically this is permanently my inventory is this sort of thing. <laughs> like, I'm going to take the prismarine blocks out of there actually. Yeah. So it's just no redstone, and then I'll build with them when we're at your base. Right. That sounds good to me. Uh, right. How are your wings? They're repaired, ain't they? Yep, fully repaired. You are we going to gonna fly? be flying over there? I'm yep. interested to see how we actually get there. Okay, follow me. To be fair, I think. <laughs> that, that was. Quite was fun. <laughs> I was. I was like, that doesn't look like the way to my base, but I'll follow you. Yeah? Right, where have you? Okay, you've you've had. I've headed in this direction. north, I believe. Oh, yeah, and then I'm gonna steer. You're to gonna the right. see. You're gonna see the new look to my base. Yes, I am. Also, I've recently, I've recently just done it. Oh, okay. Is is not? Have I not seen the episode? Is it coming out tomorrow? Or something no, it's like coming out. What what day is it today? Sunday. It's coming out tonight. Oh, it's coming out tonight. I look forward to seeing it then. So we are. Where have you gone? The site oh, on I've, the right. Lost, what oh. is that? Oh, it's part of Falses building. That's anyway. that's what I was wondering. I think this might be false. <laughs> it is. When it came, when it first loaded, it looked like a little lone island that had a house on it. Right. Yeah. Oh, if I had okay. a pressed F5, I can see where you are behind me. <laughs> that looks that looks absolutely great. But <laughs> earlier on, we were I flying. I think one like day proper... we need to get we're every flying. hermit together for the purely for the sake of flying in a group. That would be amazing. We should you are we actually try on and my go tail. in like V formation. Uh. <laughs> we're we're flying in like I'm trying to do like red arrow stuff, as in flying within like six feet of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing I'm doing some dips and dives. Uh, do you know the coordinates of your base? Uh, not a hundred percent certain. I must admit. Okay, hang on. If we're right, if this connects to mainland, then we need to go to the left. Yeah. Okay, it's this direction now. 
I well, hope. we did fly over an ocean monument, and that was the one next to my base. Um, right. Okay. There's there's a point here. <laughs> Like, if we haven't found it in the next three minutes, then I've got a feeling that I don't know where we are. If oh, you know oh I, mean. I know where we are. I know where we are. So that's... No. What is this what, here? What is, what is that thing? <laughs> I've got no idea what that is. <laughs> I think someone's been building a game of some sort. I'm going to try... Uh, I tried to fly through the little circle <laughs> just to just to show off, <laughs> and it didn't it didn't go so well. You I think this, bases, is, this is coming yeah. into my base. Yeah, I can hear. Oh, it. Yeah. oh wow! Yeah. Oh, dude, that looks amazing. Oh, that's yeah, it's cool. coming together. Oh, dude, you've had some lightning horses here. Um, I've got about a million. The, oh. I don't know what I don't know what happened in this like. What happened during this? A thunderstorm <laughs> happened. <laughs> but yeah, but there, there are so many spawns, oh, like so many. There's a bunch down underneath as well. Oh, dude, that's so cool. You should hold on to these guys. Eventually, I think they will drop skeleton heads, possibly. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that would be amazing. Yeah. We might have to and do I... this thing where, in order to get every mob head on every mob, we have command blocks that say this is a skeleton, like give it this loot table which uh, drops ahead cuz cuz i think all the horses and like all the zombies are like one thing if that makes sense you know right okay oh that makes sense but, but yeah so this but is that's, that's why i was hinting that you should keep them <laughs> right okay I, well, I i do i seem to have loads of them they they they're all over the place but yeah this is a this is this is the current base at this point in time um let's say the cyan concrete has helped out so much cuz it just looks it looks really cool in with all the prismarine and things it like does, that. Yeah. But I did I did all of this extra like all the circle ribbony stuff in the previous episode, if I can take off. Uh, <laughs> and I did that in the previous episode. And yeah, it's it's turned out looking pretty cool. I still have like the inside sections to do. But Are you gonna good. drain these away further or, or, or to match like this? I think I'm kind of considering doing that, yeah. I think that would look really, really cool to kind of drop it back, but I'm trying my best to avoid becoming a worse version of your old base on Hermitcraft Series 4, because <laughs> yours looked you, insane. You would, yeah, you would be that competing happening. with that. That's a good point. And that, that thing yeah. took me a crazy amount of, of time to do. Dude, you've got a squid farm over here as well, by the way. Yeah, they do seem to just drop down. I should, pos I should put hoppers. some hoppers down yeah. at the bottom. A ring of them. Like a hopper minecart. Oh, just a mi yeah. How simple would that be to set up? One track... Minecart goes around just in a circle. Around. Then you got a squid farm, a rink farm, even. That's a good. That's actually a good idea. Because look, they, they they just drop there all the time. Yeah, they <laughs> swim. To... They basically swim and find their way to this bit. It'd be a slow one, but it'd be better than nothing, wouldn't it? No, exactly. And also, that means that I can get dark prismarine as well. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you what. I'm collecting this stuff right now, and I'm going to use dark prismarine. So where are we building your <laughs> squid? Just like fell right in front of me. Yeah, so uh, the, the number. Of, look, there's another one that's just going to come straight out the wall. Like they, they just, they just go whoop, and then just flat straight out. He's learnt. He's learnt. Oh no, no, he's he's, he's straight out the edge. Oh no, he's back in. Oh, back what guy. a champion! He was. Yeah. <laughs> he's living living on the edge there. He used his uh, brain smarts, that guy. Yeah, that was that was good. But um, I don't actually know. I'm trying to think if we could. If there's any way that I could incorporate into this area down at the bottom, but I don't think I could, really. Oh, uh, realistically, I almost got crushed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think there's any way that I could do it in here. Here's, or if you want to craft up prismarine and things like that, then there should be a decent number of shards in these chests. Uh, there's a few. There's a few. A few thousands, <laughs> probably. Yeah, and well, you say that, but I was doing the all of the stuff around the top and i didn't realize that it takes nine nine of those nine stacks of prismarine shards to make one prismarine brick block that's true i didn't realize it, it was that kind bit, of doesn't it yeah so i hadn't realized so I, I thought i had loads i had hundreds to make it and it turned out i actually had to do some extra afk to get all of the blocks right, but I'm i crafting. reckon in in Sorry. terms of where to build it uh i'm almost tempted to do it on the island <laughs> On this the island, tough. over to the side. Yeah. Well, you don't have, you don't really have a project space yet. Like, no. Here's the thing: I'm probably going to rebuild mine, although it'll be in the same position. Like, I'm going to move it off at one or two blocks. You know, there's yeah. no harm in rebuilding it. It's quite a simple project. We're just, we're just outlining the premise today and getting people's ideas, so we can, yeah, we can take all of that into consideration. So maybe just have it in this area temporarily. 
Well, see, I was thinking that, but the issue is, is that it's it's one block. It's a three block thing, oh. and th this is two block central. <laughs> Build it in the corner. <laughs> oh, wait, that's that's uh, that's not a bad idea, actually. I just bounced off of the ground and flew into that water. Oh yeah, look, it would line up here, actually. Yeah, do you reckon like yeah, I could build it in yeah, I could build it in just in one of the sections and then this could be like my temporary spoon counter yeah. and you can do some ideas for decoration. Yes. And then this is good. I like this idea. That's that's a, that's the smart way of doing it. Instead of getting too too caught up in the details and everything like that, just go ahead and build it. I left my crafting bench back there. Do you have any wood for a crafting bench? I do. I seem to have Thank I seem goodness. to have so I, I went out and collected about a million blocks of wood before we went out. I'm gonna do and I have to say, having this shulker box is pretty handy. I'd forgotten how handy it is to have a redstone shulker box. Oh, it's super handy. <laughs> it's like <laughs> the I remember changes. when they announced that me and me and uh, me and Iskal were at were at Minecon, and we <laughs> we were there. And I have to say, I was with my girlfriend at the time, who doesn't play Minecraft at all. And me and Iskal were getting very very yeah. excited about these shulker boxes, and my girlfriend was just sat there, just getting very confused. Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys on about? <laughs> like we, we were like, we were like, oh my word! You now have like portable storage. This is incredible. It's like one of yeah. the best things that's happened. You're in like Minecraft losing like your that. mind. Yeah, and she's like, and dude, my girlfriend just, was just, just like, game. I didn't realize you cared that much about this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like, yeah, this is amazing. Basically, it's the best thing ever. basically, we're Minecraft nerds. <laughs> yeah, complete and utter Minecraft nerds. Because <laughs> obviously, she doesn't play it that much, so I don't really talk to her too much about it. Yeah. So she, she kind of doesn't realize, even though I make Minecraft videos all the time. Do you know? Like, do you know what would be do. worse, worse than the madding shulker boxes would be if they added the bluestone. <laughs> Oh, I, I would have lost it. I would yeah. have gone completely insane. Because I, a, because that's pretty cool. But b, because I was like, I did this. This was a thing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was your idea, wasn't it? Oh, in, in a way. I mean, it's been done. Obviously, different coloured wires of redstone has been done hundreds of times and everything like that. But no, I like to. I, I would still lay claim to it. I think I would still lay claim to that one. Yeah, it's a great one, blue star. I would. I do think it'd be nice to have it one day. But yeah, I think far off in the distance, like maybe at some point when I don't know, I don't know how to explain the time that I feel like it should arrive because well, it would it would it would lead to like quite a big change in how Redstone operates. And yeah, works. like how long have we been it, playing this game for? The fact that it will change slowly over time makes it very like interesting. But yeah, how much change can it take? So where do the lamps go here, by the way? Yeah, I'm. I'm just working that out. I don't actually. I've got four bits of glowstone. Do you have any extra glowstone, by the yep, way? Yep, I got some glowstone for you. Oh, fantastic! I suddenly had a little bit of a panic there. <laughs> yeah, I was <laughs> getting some earlier for you. Yeah, yeah. Well, because we we when when I was like, oh yeah, we'll build all this and everything, and I was like, this is great. Yeah, I've got this idea in my head. It's going to work perfectly. And then I suddenly thought to myself, about ten minutes before we were meant to, <laughs> to start work on it, I was like, ah, I don't have like the main thing, the thing that's actually going to be lighting up. Yep, I, we need a glowstone farm, man. I'm working on a witch farm at the moment. You'd be welcome to take some drops from it when it's up and running. Oh yeah, it goes into the side. I was gonna, I was gonna say this is off by one, like. Yep. So yeah, you have to. It goes into the side, and then the other one goes into the other side, basically. So then we'll have blocks going up like that, and yeah, it should just run up and across. Yeah, this is super simple. I'm, I'm surprised at how simple I've, because usually when I do things off the top of my head. Especially when I'm recording videos and, and working with other people, I tend to make them just overly complicated and ridiculous. Yeah. And then people in the comment section are like, "What on earth are you doing?" <laughs> like, Isn't it great having an audience, so like simple? another set of eyes on what you do? Because you will encounter that so many times in this game, where yeah. it's just this like incredibly simpler way of doing things, but you have to get your head yeah. out of thinking, "I need to use this redstone block to do this." And sometimes it's well, like. That you know, oh, what about that game mechanic? That'll do it for you. And you're like, oh. Yeah, that's, that, it's, it's both handy and also uh, horrendous in, in both, depending on how people say it, basically. Because there are two different types of commenters in those sorts of situations. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you know there's, what there's the rude like. and then there's the helpful. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, well, especially when I'm doing, like... Why don't you use like, XYZ? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. That sort of one. And that, one of, that's one of the reasons. I mean, it's a very small reason, mind you. But when I used to play like, modded occasionally, my, my seven episodes of modded that I've ever done on my channel, 
Uh, it was just filled to the brim. Even though at the start of every single one of those videos, I was yep. like, look, I've never played modded before. Like, I, I, This is all new to me. I don't know what's going on. Even though I state that very clearly in the start, I still get called an idiot. Like, total, like you're a total idiot. You don't know what's going on. And it's like, no, I know I don't know what's going on because I haven't played it yet. Let yep. me, let me, let me learn. <laughs> and some people are just saying things that they saw in someone else's video, which happens, yeah, happens exactly. to me a lot. And it's like, oh, but that's that's like you know totally outdated. I mean, having to go at any and anyone for anything in mod is ridiculous because not only like other mods different from one another and behave differently they get changed and updated all the time like no mod ever yeah. stays the same this is why i've I, never I done know. modded myth busting because vanilla is oh, a pretty yeah. consistent game and then slowly it changes over time whereas modded like chops and changes left right and center you know one mod oh, can i wouldn't just even change know where overnight. to begin yeah yeah I, that that would be that would be i would feel sorry for you if i saw you posting that on your channel i'd be like prepare for prepare for just being blasted as soon as you put out the video, you'll get blasted anyway from people that have like outdated information yep. who think that they're right. But then, more importantly, in like three months' time, that'll be the worst bit when they change something subtle and then suddenly... Yeah, you go look at an old video and someone's telling... I get that on like my old uh, Minecraft 2.0 video and stuff like that. Like someone's like, you dumb ass, all of this is in the game. And I'm like, yeah, that's because this video is really old. And after they did it, they went and added loads of the stuff because people wanted it. Oh... I remember that. I remember because I was I wasn't part of the Hermitcraft group at all. I I, oh, I was sure, sure I think... you was at that time. That was season two, wasn't it? Or maybe not. No, no, no. That was season one. It was season oh, one. Right. It was early, 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 early. And uh, I was, I, as I say, I wasn't really in the Hermitcraft group. I think, I think because you know we played. You, you used to play on the GeoMind server occasionally. Very, you used to pop on when well, I, I used I to be a member of the, the GeoMind Geo server. Yeah, and, exactly. And then you, when YouTube took over, I sort of just became like that guy who kind of hangs around <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> but no I, I i remember when i when i used to play on the geomine server you know i did i, I kind of did like a handful of episodes and then unfortunately i think it got hacked didn't it and then it went down and then it yeah, never really it had came a few back things like that going on like yeah. a couple of resets and stuff but um yeah so I, I was playing on there and i remember whenever you used to join obviously i used to fangirl like an absolute champion and i think <laughs> eventually I... <laughs> yeah of course i did <laughs> oh man it's so so I long ago. I forget the details sometimes, you know. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, they, like, I, I and I, I, I remember all this stuff. I remember all the things about you know being invited to join Hermitcraft and everything. I remember, I remember everything. But um, no, what the the main detail that I'm going for here is, I remember seeing that that come out the whole uh, Minecraft 2.0 thing, and I was like, I was like, man, I actually, a, I actually really like all this stuff. B, it's really funny, and C, I reckon these videos are going to do really well that all of these hermits have produced. And lo and behold, all those videos, every single like Minecraft 2.0 video seems to have just ridiculous numbers of views. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do. They just, they always generate. Do you know what it is? It's because Minecraft won't have a 2.0 and doesn't have one. Pe yeah. People who are curious are going to be, oh, this game's old. Like, is there a second one? And it's just something people yeah. are always going to search for. And then they watch those well, videos and they like, they don't really like get it. What's going on? <laughs> No, no, but what, what, like one thing, one thing that makes me laugh about that is that. So I made, I don't even know what the motivation was for this in the slightest back in the day, but I made like a little animation type thing of Minecraft 2.0, just I based on. That. Was, yeah, it was for like a YouTube channel that I had called Things in Nutshells, and I just did oh, Minecraft 2.0 yeah. in a nutshell, and it was like 40 seconds long. And that video still gets loads of views, and people still to this day ask me like, "What happened to things in Nutshell's YouTube channel?" That was <laughs> a really cool like channel, that. man. I'll probably still subscribe to that. Mate, I think you are. I think I looked at it the other day. It's got like four thousand subscribers, and I think it, it, your little head shows that you're still subscribed to it. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> this looks awesome, by the way. I'm glad you like it. That turned out really well, didn't it? I'm going to make that looks one epic. change. One change, which is to put a ridge there. And move these ones back a little bit. But I don't know how you do it. You say that you say that you struggle with the building thing, but I've just witnessed you create two awesome builds uh, whilst I've just been chatting along. I got lucky with this one, right? As like this wasn't what I originally planned, but as I was placing the uh, the dark prismarine with the slabs, like they sort of tilted upwards a little bit, and then I was like, I'm just gonna follow that shape. It's a very shapey build, isn't it? Yeah, it kind of looks like Art Deco. Not that I really know what that is, but that's the... <laughs> sounds like a thing, doesn't it? <laughs> it sounds like a thing. Exactly. Uh, okay, uh, there's one more thing that I have to do, which is to put in the button. 
and I've just run out of redstone. But yeah, that was uh, this has been a successful successful building projects with Mumbo and Exumavoid. It You've has. managed to create some awesome looking stuff. I've actually managed to somehow freestyle a, a redstone contraption that is functioning, which doesn't happen very often. Dude, it's, it's working I, well. Uh, I'm going to get us the numbers, it. by the way. Uh, the, like, someone's been keeping track of all yeah, the dirt. Yeah, I've seen the graphs. Yeah, so I'm going to get the latest on that, and then we'll we'll program those in. And then we need a wager. And yeah. I think that's kind of it. Like, we're both probably going to end up rebuilding these things in a permanent location. But exactly, yeah. Then we just need, like, what is the wager about? Um, I think I've got so, no ideas. I'm not. I'm not I can't even think stuff. what sort of thing because I wouldn't want to do like payment. Like I wouldn't want it to be like, oh, Exuma's got more derps than me. He owes me this many diamonds. I feel like that's like silly. Yeah. Um. It, I mean, it's it's a it's a it's a potential last resort idea kind of thing. It's like, oh, you know, that whatever. Uh, I I think it should be some form of. It's <sighs> gonna be. I tell you what. There are so many people watching, right? And loads of people have great ideas. Someone there'll be that one comment in your video when you're reading them. There'll be that one comment where you're like, that's the idea. Like, that's that's the one, you know. I wouldn't even worry I have, about I it. I have just thought of one thing, though, yes. which is that I, whoever loses, uh, whoever, so I guess I guess it depends how you cast who loses. Is the person who loses the one that has the most derps or spoons? I'm guessing that's how that works. Yeah, because it, it would work the other way around, because even no. though, like, being a bit of a spoon or doing a derp is, like, fun in a way, like... Yeah, it wouldn't be if you intentionally did it. So no, exactly, exactly. Okay, so yeah, so the person with the least number of derps or spoons wins, and I would say they like my silly idea is that some form of like shrine has to be erected for them for being the ah, better. <laughs> build the other person <laughs> the a shrine. Minecraft. Yeah, in their ba in <laughs> your base, cool. like the the shrine's yeah. got to be in your base. Right. Yeah. So, like, if 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 you spoon out first, then you got to put like an assumer void face somewhere in your base. Yeah. You know? To just be reminded that you are better than me. Anyway, that's like a <laughs> that's like a, a silly daft idea. But if I think, if I think you've the got comments, the best idea, I think I'm going to read all the comments, and there's not going to be one better than that now. I don't know. We, we'll see. I, I won't rule anything out because someone might come out with something insane. But no, I do quite like that idea. Just being constantly reminded that you are better than me would be <laughs> very, very funny. <laughs> it would be good. I got a request, dude, by the way. In your next episode, when I, when I watch it, here's what I want to see. I want to see right. some rails around the outside here. Yeah. And That's I want to see a, a little idea. wine cart going around in a circle. <laughs> A little squid farm. That's genius. I need I need squid. I was going to build a squid farm because I, I need the dark prismarine, and I think that that's genius. I mean, look, it does actually it does a half decent job. <laughs> the only thing is, I don't know how well it would work with squids that land on it. Would they stop like this guy? Oh no! Oh, died. they eventually suffocate, and uh, yeah, you'd be oh, fine. Yeah, Anything course. that lands on it. The only problem you might have is that the minecart might bump into it and then go back around in the other direction, but. In theory, right. I don't think it would end up stopping. It would just get pushed around a lot, you know? So yeah, it should hopefully be pretty, not. pretty straightforward golden idea right there. Hopefully. If so, that would be the most hilarious squid farm ever. Yeah. That would be fantastic. The unintentional <laughs> squid farm. Exactly, yes. Well, there's loads of it. It's, it's, like, everywhere. it's like the opposite anyway. of what Scout did. <laughs> he built yeah, a squid yeah. farm and no squid spawn in it. Oh. That's that, that would be heartbreaking. That would be absolutely heartbreaking. But no, well, thank you for the idea. Thanks for coming along as well and checking out my humble little base. And uh, yeah, nice thanks for well. for uh, for doing the spoon and the derp counting. Yeah, likewise, I'm sure. man. Thank you for making that contraption. It's been a lot of fun. And I guess are we ending it here then? Yeah, I, I, I think I think we'll part ways. All right then. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try and make a dramatic exit. I just need my wings first of all. Well then, Mumbo. <laughs> <laughs> I was a bit aware that there was a beacon above me that I might have smacked my head into. I, that's, that's what I was thinking. I was waiting for you to try yeah. and just smash straight into the beacon. I knew it was there though, man. Oh. <laughs> All right then. All right. Thank you everyone you for watching. If you've enjoyed the episode, leave a like. As always, thank you for your support and we'll see you soon. Ciao for now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.